Hi, this is Jay Fleming. I'm the senior developer with Lulea Media, and this is the Child Theme Configurator quick start video. So we're going to go right to Tools, Child Themes, and this is what you see if you have not installed any Child Themes yet. You just have the Parent Child tab available and then a bunch of options. The first thing you want to do is select the parent theme that you want to make a Child Theme of. Click on the Parent Theme menu and you'll see uh, one of the things we've added is a preview of the themes that you can choose from. I've got a bunch loaded here and I've got 2015 loaded. 2015 is um, coming out in version 4.1 and you'll see that it automatically loads a child theme name here based on the parent theme that you select. But you can change it if you want to. So you could just actually type in something else if you want. New and then for author, that's completely up to you. Inversion is really for your own internal tracking, but it is a required field for the child theme style sheet. One of the new options that we have added is this ability to copy your parent theme options. And what that'll do if you check the box is, is copy the menus and widgets and other things like background, header image over to the child theme. The next is this parent style sheet handling option. In earlier versions of Child Theme Configurator, um, it would automatically create an add import statement in the style sheet. There's a lot of movement away from that now. So we're giving you the option to link the style sheet via the WordPress in queue system. You can choose add import if you're using an older theme that hardwires the style sheet and doesn't use the in queue feature. And you can also select none if you know that your theme is already handling all the styles automatically and you don't need to worry about the parent style sheet at all. If you don't know what to put here, don't worry about it. Just choose link and you should be all good. Um, this last thing is parse additional style sheets. This is available for themes that put all their core styles into separate files. Child Theme Configurator will automatically parse the parent style sheet, uh, the style.css file. A lot of themes are no longer using that for their their styles. Instead, they're putting their styles in a separate f file or group of files. What this allows you to do is select those so that they get loaded into the configurator for you to customize. In this 2015 theme, you can see that one of these is checked. This would be a style sheet that gets loaded the way the theme is set up now. If you know that you need to parse additional style sheets, you can check them here. So we're just going to leave this alone and click regenerate slash rebuild child theme files to generate your child theme. So what this has done is it's created a new directory under your themes directory to contain all the child theme files. So now you have this additional menu that has the existing child themes that you have set up. So we just added this new 2015 child. You can see it's just like the other menu where it gives you a preview. Before you activate your child theme you're going to want to go to live preview and test it first. The reason I recommend that you do this is because if there's anything wrong with your child theme that is going to keep it from working correctly, you're going to know that before you activate it by using the live preview. So if, for example, the parent styles weren't being loaded correctly, you would see a generic unstyled version of the page here. Or if there was something causing the theme to completely break, uh, it would crash here, but it wouldn't crash your, your main website. So if everything looks good, then you can activate it here. After you've created your first child theme, you will notice there's a bunch of new options. These tabs across the top, Query Selector, Rule Value, Import, Child CSS, Parent CSS, and Files. And we're going to go over each one of these as we go along in the tutorial. The other thing you see is that now you've got some additional options down here. You can back up your current style sheet which means that you can make a copy of the style sheet in its current state and then reload it uh, so that you can kind of save it at a certain point in case you need to go back to it. Likewise, there's now this reset and restore where you can actually reset all your changes to the defaults, basically back to the parent themes settings. So just to show you how that works, we're going to actually create a backup here and we're going to rebuild the child theme. So it did the same thing, it, it reparsed everything, but now we have a backup file. So if you go down to this restore from backup, 
you're going to see that you have this backup option down here. So if you make a bunch of changes, you don't like what you've done, uh, you want to go back to a certain point, you have this to go back to. And you do the same thing, just select that and hit Generate Rebuild again. Well, that's about it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, uh, please drop us a line on our website. Uh, you can fill out the contact form or you can send us an email to solutions at lilleamedia.com. And we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching.